Are you looking for a video on basic geometric figures? Then this video is right for you. So, without much further ado, let's begin. Hi, my name is Roel G. Carpio, a math teacher and a coach, and I do math tutorial in my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to present basic geometric figures. So what are the different geometric figures? The following are the basic geometric figures. We have point, line, line segment, and ray. Let's start with a point. A point is a basic geometrical figure that oftentimes regarded as a dot. In geometry, a point is an exact location in space. It is usually identified or named with a letter. It is zero-dimensional because it has no length, width, and height. For example, when we have a dot or a point with the letter A, we call it as point A. While the dot or the point with letter Q, we call it as point Q. Remember that in naming a point, we have to use capital letter. Now, let's proceed to our next figure. We have a line. A line is a collection of points that extends endlessly in both directions. It is a one-dimensional figure since it has only length. It is uniquely determined by two points. For example, a line passing through points A and B is named as line AB or line BA. Or we can also use this symbol above the letters. So, take note that a line can be extended in both directions as denoted by these two arrow heads in the two directions. So, meaning to say that this arrow head tells us that we can extend the line in this direction endlessly. And we can also extend this line in this direction endlessly. Now, Let's proceed to our third figure. We have line segment. A line segment is only a part of a line with two endpoints. It connects two points. For example, a line segment that connects the two points A and B named as line segment AB or line segment BA. Or we can also use this symbol above this letter. Unlike the line in which we can extend in both directions, a line segment cannot be extended in both directions. This is denoted by the two endpoints. So, meaning to say that the line ends in this point A and on the other end, this line ends in point B. Now, let's proceed to our next, which is array. Array is also a part of a line that has an end point in one direction and can extend endlessly in another direction. For example, array starting from point A and passing through B is named as ray AB denoted by the symbol above the two letters. Now, array can be extended in one direction only and has an end point in the other direction. So in this case, this point A is the end point of the ray, while here in this direction, we can extend the line endlessly. 
In naming this ray, we have to follow the direction through which we can expand the ray. So we can name this as ray AB, but we cannot name this as ray BA. Now, let's proceed to our activity. So this time, we are going to identify the figure and then we are going to name it. So I'll give you 10 seconds for you to answer and then we are going to check your answer later on. So your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, for number one, since the figure cannot be extended in both directions, so meaning to say that this figure is a line segment. So, we can name this line segment as line segment CD or we can also name this as line segment DC. Now, let's proceed to number 2. For number 2, since the figure can be extended in one direction and has an endpoint in another direction, so we call this as a ray. So, in naming this ray, we can only name this ray following the direction where the arrowhead is. So, we call this as ray. O, P. Now, number three, the figure can be extended in both directions. So, this is a line. So, in naming a line, we can use two ways. So, this figure is named as line J, K, or we can also name this figure as line K, J. And then finally, we have a point. As I have mentioned earlier, a point has no dimension. So this is a point. We name this as point R. So I hope that you got all answers. Okay? Now let's proceed to our exercises. In here, what you are going to do is to identify the number of different rays in the given figure. Then, comment your answer in the comment section below. So, all you have to do is to count how many rays do you think are there in the given figure. As I have mentioned earlier, a ray is only a part of a line and can be extended in one direction and has an endpoint in other direction. So, when you are done answering, kindly comment your answer in the comment section below. So, there you have it, the different basic geometric figures. I hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. See you again in my next video. Thank you.